Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. And before I get started with this video, I just want to say that completing the square is not the easiest way to solve quadratic equations. You can also solve quadratic equations by factoring, which is much easier. And if the equation cannot be factored, you can always solve the quadratic equations by using the, the quadratic formula, which is also much easier than completing the square. However, sometimes the directions in your textbook say solve the quadratic equations by completing the square, in which case you have to use this method in order to solve the equation. So let's just get started right away with this example. So here we have 3x squared minus 18x minus 15 equals 0. And I wrote the steps for you in green on the left-hand side of the screen. And the first step is to make sure that a equals 1. Your a is always the number in front of the x squared term. So our a right now is 3. we got to make sure that our a is equal to 1. So in order to change this from a 3 to a 1, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So now I'm just going to simplify this. 3x squared divided by 3 is just 1x squared. There's always a 1 even though you don't see it. Negative 18x over 3 is just negative 6x. Negative 15 over 3 is negative 5. And 0 over 3 is just 0. So moving on to our next step. Our next step is to bring c to the right side. And our c is always our constant or our number without an x attached to it. So our constant is negative 5. So what we need to do is we need to bring that to the right-hand side. So in order to do that, we just want to add 5 to both sides so that they cancel on the left side, and now it's on the right side. Now I'm just going to simplify this before we move on to our next step. On the left-hand side, we have x squared minus 6x. And on the right-hand side, we have 0 plus 5, which is just 5. So moving on to our next step is we want to add b over 2 squared to both sides. And the reason why I added b over 2 squared to both sides is because it's going to make it very easy later on in the problem to factor. Now I'm going to simplify this a little more and plug in my b. Your b is always the number in front of the x term. So since we have a negative 6 in front of our x term, that is our b. So instead of writing b over 2, I'm going to put negative 6 over 2. And the same on the right-hand side, instead of b over 2, I'm going to put negative 6 over 2. Now let's simplify this even further. We have x squared minus 6x plus negative 6 over 2 is just negative 3 squared equals 5 plus negative 6 over 2 is negative 3 squared. I'm going to simplify this even further. We have x squared minus 6x. Negative 3 squared is actually positive because when you square a negative it becomes positive. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9 is equal to 5 plus negative 3 squared once again is positive 9. Now finally we can move on to our next step and our next step is to factor. x squared minus 6x plus 9 is a trinomial which can be factored very easily into x minus 3 times x minus 3, and that is equal to 5 plus 9, which is just 14. The two parentheses after you factor should be exactly the same. If your two parentheses after you factor are not exactly the same, then you need to go back a few steps um, because you've done something wrong. So that is just a little tip. Uh, after you factor, your two parentheses should be exactly the same. So now I'm going to simplify this even further. The x minus 3 times the x minus 3 is a perfect square. So that can just be written as x minus 3 squared 
is equal to 14. And now we can move on to our last step. And our last step is we need to solve for x. So in other words, we need to get x by itself. So in order to get x by itself, I want to get rid of this 2 exponent right here. So in order to get rid of this 2 exponent, I'm going to do the opposite. So the opposite of a square is a square root. And I'm going to square root both sides. The square root of a square is just itself, so that simplifies just to x minus 3, which is equal to plus or minus the square root of 14. Whenever you square root both sides, it's always really important that you use plus or minus on the right-hand side. So now in order to solve for x and get x by itself, the last thing we need to do is we just need to add 3 to both sides and the threes cancel out and finally we're left with x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 14 and this is our final answer so I hope this video helped you understand completing the square just a little bit better if you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please feel free to go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, that is mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my videos and you want to see some more, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.